An investigation's underway after a patient was sent home from Sandwell Hospital with drugs she was allergic to. 68-year-old Aravella Boney from West Bromwich then collapsed after taking the painkiller Cocodamol. She was in hospital for a month and her family say she's still not fully recovered. Here's our health correspondent, Michaeli Paduano. Arabella Boney is a survivor. She's lost a leg to diabetes and was deliberately poisoned by a carer at her home in Goldfield Court. But this time her dice with death was due to hospital painkillers. Listen, I thought I wouldn't make it. I tell Janice that. I thought this time I wouldn't make it. Her daughters felt that she wasn't well when she left hospital after treatment. When she collapsed at home, they dialed 999. By the time they got here, she wasn't breathing, so they had to bag, they call it bag, whatever they do, they bag them with the, and they gave her three shots of antidote, straight into resource, kept trying to give her antidote, and then they had to give her an infusion of antidote for like, I think it was the next 12 hours or something. Arabella is usually given this red bracelet in the hospital to show she's allergic to opiates. This time she was given an opiate, cocodamol, and prescribed it when sent home. The family say twice before, the hospital has stopped Mrs Boney's medication and harmed her. I'm angry because this is the third mix-up with her tablets. As you know, the first time sued them. Second time, they apologised to my sister. This time, sorry, I am angry, very angry. And that's why I called you. The hospital said it's really sorry that Mrs Boney is unhappy with the level of care she received. It said it is investigating. I understand it's looking into why this wasn't declared as a serious incident. The hospital said it will share the findings of its investigation once completed. Mrs Boney's daughters say she's not the same person and the opiates have damaged her kidneys. Michele Paduano, BBC Minister Day.